Hello everyone, good morning. My name is Sudhansu and welcome back to our learning platform Shining Snow. So today I'm going to tell you about how to give a presentation. <coughs> Sorry. The presentation, the topic I have chosen is the very easy topic that is education. So here you can say the first how to prepare a presentation and there are some rules and regulations that you have to obey. <laughs> First point is the content. Content means you are, what exactly you are going to give in the whole presentation you need to tell in the first. And what is the benefit you are going to give the audience. This is the most important thing that in your presentation that you show some image. What is all about the presentation? What is the benefit they are receiving? What is the benefit, unique benefit you are giving? Well, this is all about the education. So here I'm going to tell you about meaning and definition of education and then benefits, problem and difference between educated or uneducated person. At last, suggestion and conclusion. There are five points I'm going to tell you in the presentation. So first, what is the meaning and definition of the education? The process of receiving giving systematic instruction especially at school or university a course of education so whenever i'm saying about receiving a student giving a teacher systematic instruction systematic instruction that means one step one two three four five systematic first we learn about the alphabets then after grammar, grammatical things, then after our own language, then after we need to learn about second language and third language. Okay, step by step we are growing. So, so let me tell you one thing is very much important whenever I am saying about the systematic instruction. Class 1 to 5, it is a foundation. We are not giving more stress to the children. We are not giving more focus to focus on speed of a children's education. If you are a parent, so I'm requesting you all of you that you have to focus standard one to five only foundation things, fundamental things. In fundamental things that the students, the children need to understand about what is exactly education, what the meaning, what the definition, why we should learn about it. Okay, this is the foundation. This is and five to eight, it is a concept. So in first to fifth there is a foundation and you can see it is a learning process step by step you can memorize something but in case of five to eight this is a conceptual things concept you have to understand the concept eight to ten eight nine ten is the most important power part of your life whenever i'm focusing about speed with accuracy we need to cover a huge syllabus within a stipulated time here from 8 to 8 to 10 we are giving force we are just forcing the students to give their best in their education because we need to cover off everything with the stipulated time okay so second point is education is a process of act of learning or teaching acquiring or impacting acquiring or impacting knowledge it includes the preparation of children for mature life okay children for mature life who is responsible for children making mature life one is acquiring one is impacting whenever you are receiving knowledge and acquiring knowledge and impacting it shows in your behavior that is impacting okay if i'm giving the focus on children for mature life here is mother is very much important for a children I remember the voice of Vivekananda. He says that if your father is educated in your family, that means you should realize there is only one person is educated in your family. If your mother is educated, that means your whole family is educated. So we should give more emphasis. We should go give more importance on women education, the women empowerment. The women should learn as much as possible because women education is directly focused to your kids education if he or she if she is educated that means you just believe that your kids are properly educated your whole family is properly educated because she teaches us 
the discipline of educating in a proper manner. She teaches us discipline of her life. She teaches us the honesty, the integrity, what is ethic, what is good, what is bad, what is right, what is wrong. So whenever your mother is an educated person, all the students, all the kids are educated. All the family members, in fact, all the family members are educated. So next, what is the benefit of education? You can say that benefit, the first is responsibility. Whenever you are an educated person, you have to understand, you know about what is my responsibility towards my parents, towards my neighbor, towards my country, towards my nation, for everything. I need to understand if I'm an educated person. Okay? Then next is loyalty, that means honesty courage if i know something i have the courage self-confidence within myself honesty i have to be honest to myself not any other person i'm not showing my honesty to everybody no i'm too honest to myself whatever i'm doing what small or big work i'm doing i have to be very honest at my work for at every person i'm not going to cheat anybody Respect, showing respect is part of our education because education makes us civilized one. So giving respect is our prime activity. That means it's our right to get the proper respect and give respect. Forgiveness. Forgiveness means you have to you have a big heart to forgive someone. Everybody take revenge, but some people forgive. Okay, so educated person understand that mistakes happens by everybody. A man having no mistake does nothing. So the educated person can forgive easily than an uneducated person. That means gratitude, that's showing some respect to everybody. Showing your kindness, giving a thank you note to everyone, showing your gratitude to everybody. Okay, giving thanks to each and every person surrounding by you. Compassion. Compassion means be loyal to everyone. That means you always want to put your put your foot in other shoes. That means you have to understand the problem of others and helping others. It is coming under sympathy, empathy. Okay, and apathy. Sympathy, that means you are showing some Response towards the people who are who is suffering. That means you are back at your seat for a pregnant woman. It is all about your compass, compassion. Cooperation. Cooperation means you know that everybody knows that the teamwork is the best effort. Without the teamwork, we cannot succeed. A person, if one person will, if one person want to develop our nation, is it not possible? So that it is always a team. Whenever there is a team, there is a cooperation is needed. You need some help now and you are giving some help to other person also. And next is kindness. Kindness means the person who is very knowledgeable person, who is educated person, he has some kindness within himself. So these are the benefit of the education. And education teaches us not only about our classroom studies, but also about our outside things. How to behave, how to make your attitude, how to respond, how to take decisions, everything. So, benefit of education is complete. Next is, there is a difference between educated person and un uneducated person and educated person. So, edu uneducated person focus on the marks, certificate and percentage. Because so of, oh, oh my god, I got 96%. Okay, I got certificate of civil engineer, engineering or you can say I got a certificate of doctor. So, but the educated person knowledge, attitude and skills. <clears throat> the educated person understand about what is the knowledge. Once he understand the knowledge, what is the knowledge, then after he change his attitudes towards the things. Okay, I'm giving an example. You know, what you are watching or what you are seeing okay the things will never change what you are looking or what you are watching the thing will never change the way you see it will make a difference 
got it this is all about your attitude to see the others the person is not behaving properly some person are saying that he is arrogant he is uh, not educated he is something but some people are saying i think he is he might disturb by the family he might face any challenges earlier he, he might be some mentally disturbed okay the way you see it make a difference that is called your attitude you need to re the reaction of the response or reaction of the response of the circumstances is called your attitude and then up to skillful once you make your attitude in a proper manner you are skillful you are efficient okay i can give the more example the educated people are feeling powerful confident and good decision maker they are very quick decision maker because they know what is right what is wrong whatever decision i'm going to take for my future for my child future for my kid future for my son for my daughter what type of decision i'm going to take okay uneducated person are confused because they are asking they are seeking help from everybody yes may i do, do this no i can do this can i do this no i can do this because they are not taking any proper decision because they don't understand about what is right what is wrong what is ethical what is unethical what is good for their future what is not good okay they feel powerless they are always seeking help from others lack of self confidence whenever you are seeking help from others for it's an everything that means you are not feeling very comfortable when the educated person feel very comfortable to take decisions make their wise decision to make their career successful okay how does limited education limit young people okay whatever i am saying about why how the people are feeling okay the uneducated people are feeling the people who are not properly educated limited about the education how they are feeling not working for me 50 52% had been unemployed for at least for one month the people who are not educated they don't investigate everything whatever they taught they are trained no they are not educated they are trained they have been told that you need to work a b c d e once they are working for f or working for e f g s i j so if they are getting new new challenges new new circumstances every day then they are saying that this is not working for me the area the location the place is not for me okay they are not getting they are not ready get ready to take challenges okay my future is scary that means 60 percent people are worried about having enough money for a regular expenses whenever you have a regular expenses they are scary about the futures if i have the kids how i'll manage everything how i can manage my expenses okay how can my kid will be go for the b schools or high education higher education so they are scary about everything need work need more work so 47 people had increased their working hours to cover their expenses whenever you have some more expenses you need to put more efforts but as for my knowledge the work given by you in the corporate you can see in the corporate or you can see every everywhere the work given by you depends on s a s t actual handling time so it, it depends on it is decided by the leadership whenever they are giving some work that means you need you will complete easily by 8 hours so if you are not able to complete your work that means you are not efficient you don't understand the process you don't understand the things the uneducated people are giving extra hours for getting the things completed getting the things done going into debt the 20 percent are carried in the balance on the credit card so the people can't manage the fund okay they don't understand what is the requirement what is the fund what is the incoming cash flow what is outflow inflow and outflow so they are making debt they are fulfilling their dreams or fulfilling their expenses by the way they are making the debts because they are not managing their funds effectively so next point is hi mom send money 
So the people, 26% people had regularly received help from partners, sorry parents, to cover rent, room and board or mortgage payment. So the people who are not educated person, they are always seeking help from others. They are always seeking help from their parents, their partners. At last, but not the least, this is a solution, this is a conclusion, or you can say this is a suggestion to the government from me. <laughs> Education should be free in India. I do realize this is free. You can go to the government school, you can go to the government college. It is free. It is the poor people are getting some money out of it. But we need to understand why the people are not going to the school why the people are not going to college why the people are not happy going to school and college government school and college because the quality of education is not there the government is always trying to make the outer beauty surface making schools 5d that doesn't help the future of the students making a 5d school that doesn't never help it creates some impact little impact to the students to encourage to go to the call go to the schools take selfies yes but it doesn't create large impact even it it will not help you to read more study more okay i need to understand about the people who are not trained if I'm going to speak about my schools or my village schools, all the schools, the teachers, I'm not uh, uh, focusing to anyone, but teachers should be more qualified. More qualified means they are be it qualified, yes, I agree, but they're not properly, properly educated. <clears throat> how to teach, how to engage, how to focus on the bank benches. I was a bank bencher, but I never see the, any teacher as focusing to the bank benches. They are just focusing on their course complete. So whenever you are not focusing to each and every person in the classroom, that means the, there is not a good classroom. Or you can send, we can say that you are not educating to everyone. But there is a problem. There is a 10, 000, more than 10,000 vacant, 10,000 shortage in our teachers. So one teacher cannot, can't manage everything. So there are lots of problems. The government can help it, the government can solve the issue by preparing a proper educated person for the teaching. The teaching criteria, the selection criteria should be different. The people who are eligible for the teaching, the people who are who can speak easily, who are who are confident, who are make the student can understand, make the student can easily understand about. So we need a quality teachers to make our education good. To develop our nation, we need a quality teachers. So how do you need the quality teacher? We need to focus on the criteria of selecting a quality teacher. Whatever there is a written or you can say private beard. The people who are doing the private beard only going for examination. After that, they were getting a job. So this is not should be a criteria. You can make a viva or you can make a personal interview. You can make a, you can make a demo that everybody have to look at it. Demo classes. So the person is eligible. The person is qualified enough. The person is confident enough to speak in front of the students. To speak in front of the teachers. To make understand, make others understand about what is right, what is wrong. Okay. So this should be criteria and though we need a quality teachers okay to develop our child to develop our generation that's why most of the people they're sending their kids to the private school because there is a discipline there's no discipline in the government government school there is a discipline in the private school there is a proper training even there the teachers are not highly qualified but the teachers are more focused to their students their focus is in every student, but in government school, they focus on the course complete. This is the only difference. So education plays a very vital role to develop our nations.
to develop our growth of the our career also okay thank you very much